All right, so this is Nada versus Yellow on the map Rush Hour. And uh, what I think is this map is about a 27 minute game, so I will split, uh, I'll split this game up into three segments. Uh, I have an idea to get rid of the delay that I've been having. And this is, I am going to pause the replay, which is an advantage that I will be getting from music replays. I'll pause it, and then I will upload the other one while making the second one. And unlike splitting it up using virtual dub, it will not have the delay. At least I don't think it will. So over the course of about three or two days, I will be making this uh, video. But because during the weekdays, I don't have as much time as I do on the weekends. After this game, I'll also be showing another video of Nada playing against a Protoss player. And you'll probably be able to find that here on uh, Saturday. So, Yellow is sending out his first drone to scout. Not expanding, he's getting his Overlord doing standard build so far. Yeah, Nada is also scouting. And, yeah, so... I think that Nada will win because his name was the first name on this uh, replay. And not only that, but Nada is probably a better player than Yellow. Though they are both very good players. <coughs> so, Nada seeing that uh, Yellow is scouting that base, is moving back to scout the next base. They already know where each other's, where each other's bases are. First expansion coming up. Uh, standard 12 hatchery build, he will go 11 spawning pool, or perhaps 12. It, it's usually uh, based on preference. I think that most pros will go 12 hatchery. Yeah, so here comes the 12 hatchery. And this is a very safe, uh, safe sh uh, build order against Terran. Here goes the double barracks that most Terrans will do. It's safe, but the the disadvantage to this is that your hatchery will be relatively undefended for, uh, and it, it is liable to be attacked by a bunker rush or just a plane rushes. So it looks like this drone is doing some nice harassing over here, trying to kill this SCV, but it is being countered by Nada's SCV. Green has come off to kill Yellow's drone, but uh, the drone is getting out of there seeing that it will not be able to scout in there for much longer anyways. Spawning pool is almost complete as well. The hatchery is almost complete. Expansion almost complete. The... Okay, so he sent about two drones over here to start mining. Uh, he will do a three hatchery build or he will get uh, immediately a hydralisk then. Okay, so he's creating two zerglings, four zerglings, and a drone. These zerglings are for early defense, and the drone is to keep them hunting. Usually what I do when the spawning pool is complete is I will make six zerglings. But after watching a couple of replays, I have uh, noticed that you shouldn't all make them all into zerglings. So it looks like this SCV by Nada is going to die. Lair is going up, so it looks like this will be Mutalisk or... Uh, lurkers, though I have not seen a Hydralisk den yet. SUV being marked very carefully, but it will go down because yellow is also not there. So, Academy going up in a very safe portion of the area. You do not want your Academy to be destroyed, so you either want to keep it around your uh, supply depots or maybe, maybe next to your uh, barracks or somewhere safe like that. So, this SUV is going to go down soon. It is going to see that this lair is coming up, so he will be able to guess that this will be a spire. So, three hatch... Uh, actually, it's creep colony for defense, because he's kind of worried. So the SCV has finally been killed. Looks like a spire will... A uh, hydralisk den is going up. The spire should be going up very shortly. He has a lot... A uh, big abundance of money. Looks like Nada is going to attack. He has a fire bat. Fire bats are very useful. There goes factory for higher tech and concept station for a scanner. So, at this point, lurkers are being researched. There are two sunkens here. Uh, three more being, two more being created. 
but Nada can run past up on this ramp and not suffer many casualties. These are things have spotted this enemy. He has stimmed and he's going to get up the ramp. If he gets up this ramp, this might be GG, but it will not be because this replay is still very long. So it looks like he's going to go straight up the ramp. These Duncans cannot reach it. Yellow is going to try and do some uh, drone blocking, but it wasn't successful. There it goes. So he's leading them back down the ramp where they will be hit by these Duncans. Nada is timing it very carefully, he's trying not to be hit. I think he has U U twenty two hundred thirty eight shows. So it looks like Nada's coming up, he's gonna try and rush past the drone, which looks like he's going successfully. Successfully. This firebat is taking out many units, but it the attack has been fended off by yellow. He did lose a fair amount of dr uh, drones, but it was better than losing his base. So more more something's being created, so that attack will not happen again. Factory going up for my, or perhaps uh, siege mode, which would probably be more uh, more likely in this case. And as you can see, uh, there goes the first lurker. But you always want to place your overlords in places where you can find, you can see your enemy, and if they're going to attack or expand. See, you can see an SCV going up right there, and. Yellow will probably be able to maybe uh, see a bunch of SUVs. There's a couple of overlords doing nothing over here, but they are moving over to get some good scouting in. You shouldn't be uh, too wary of your opponent killing your overlords, unless they are doing a fast expand with Corsairs. You should still be able to place your overlords in good places, though. Just be a little more careful with them and get speed to the process. So this uh, lurker is being chased down by Stamp Marines. It is going to burrow, and this is put, putting pressure on Nada. Yellow has a lurker here, and, and uh, Nada will have to use a scan in order to kill it. So, this scout will not be able to gain entry into this area. Scout looking all around for expansions. As Terran, you really need to look for expansions by Zerg. Because Zerg, one of their biggest factors is that they need a lot of expansions to defeat their enemies. And usually they will have one or two more expansions than you, preferably two or three more. And unless they're doing Sauron Zerg, where, it, also on YouTube, there's a video where July Zerg, the Sauron Zerg, and he gets about nine expansions, eight or nine expansions. So this giant entity has been destroyed. You did see the defense over here. Uh, Yellow is getting a very high amount of money. I'm not sure what he's planning to do. This fire is going up and this hatchery is going up. Actually, I see what he's doing. He's saving his money so he can get mutalisks immediately. Look, all these are being created into mutalisks. So he used a lot of his money right there. Uh, saving his money is going to make it so he can get Mutalisk straight, straight away and not have to wait maybe a minute to get his full army of Mutalisks. More and more Mutalisks being created. He will make a uh, Overlord soon when this hatchery is complete. And more and more Lurkers being ov pushed over here to put the pressure. This, lur this Lurker was not killed, but if Nada had stamped it, would have been killed. So once again, putting pressure at this ramp. It looks like Nada will be expanding soon. He has tanks, and I think they have siege mode. He's putting a bunker here, so that the lurkers will find it hard to get up this ramp. Here come the mutalisks. They are not stacked by uh, by an overlord. I do not think so. Actually, okay. So these tanks have more range than lurkers, but these. Mutalists are coming in and they're going to do some nice drafting before Nada's Marines get in here. Nada's Marines are right above there, they're coming in. Uh, Yellow will try and kill as many Marines and SUVs as possible, but this attack will be fended off because of the sheer amount of Marines that Nada has. So, this attack was fended off, but these supply depots will be harassed, as well as stray Marines and SUVs. And I guess I will end this part right here, because it is getting a little above my time limit and you will see part two tomorrow and part three either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow so hope you enjoy